what the heck is a Pivo? It's this tiny little device that looks like a, a, a glorified tripod mount. But it does so much more than that. This is a game changer for creatives. Stick around to find out why. Some of you may have remembered that I did a video a while back on the Pivo Pod, and I talked about all the different settings and different trick shots and things you can do. You can watch that video. I'll put a link to it on the screen, down in the description, and at the end of the video. Now, I did that video just kind of because I had a Pivo. Pivo didn't sponsor it or anything like that. But the folks at Pivo found my video, and they contacted me, and they asked me to do an update video. I'm going to talk about some of the changes to the apps, the product line, and some of the new things that Pivo can do. Let's talk about what the Pivo does. It is primarily a tracking device. The Pivo Pod uses AI technology to track your face and your body, making for a very intelligent device. You can track anything like dance moves, uh, a class, a presentation, anything where you need the camera to move along with you. The AI technology allows you to track your face or your body up to 360 degrees. That's a full circle for those of you who don't know. And it also has some special features for tracking horses and a new beta feature for tracking dogs. Now the tracking is super smooth. You can set the speed of the tracking to a variety of different speeds. And the cool thing about face tracking and body tracking is that it keeps you in the center of the frame, if that's where you wanna be. If you wanna be on the left or the right, it will keep you on the left or the right of the screen. And you can click this button up here to select where you want your face to stay. So if you wanna stay on the right side of the screen all the time, it will always turn and leave you in the right side of the screen. Or you can choose left or center. So I'm on the center. So here we have my screen, and if you notice, I move over here and it follows me and it tries to find me. Now, there are a couple new features. We have up here at the top, we have this lock symbol, and if you click on that, it will lock that one body in the frame. So if there are multiple people in your shot, then it will try its best to stay on that one body. You can use your camera in both landscape and vertical mode. The phone connects to the Pivo Pod via Bluetooth, and there's an app there that does all the recording for you. The remote comes with the Pivo. Everyone gets one of these. You can use the remote control to take a picture or start a recording. Now, the other thing Pivo does really well is smart capture. All you got to do is open the Pivo Plus app, select photo mode in the app, click on the smart capture icon to enable it, and then move around and strike a pose. The Pivo AI will determine that you've struck a pose and it will take a photo for you. You can also make a loud clap or snap that will trigger a photo as well. Now the real meat and the real fun of the people, which is why most people get it, is that it has a lot of fun, creative modes for both photos and videos. Options include really smooth panoramas, 50-50 shots, which is half video and half still shot. You can do tiny planets to give that tiny planet look. And you can do a many me photo where there's multiple versions of you in the photo. You can do double takes, flashes, versus shots, motion time-lapse, clone trail, and magic edge. Now, if you want more details on all the settings and things you need to do within the app, check out my other video on all the quick create modes. By the way, I am part of the Pivo affiliate program, and if you want to buy a Pivo or any equipment, you can get 10% off your first order just by using the link down in the description, or use the coupon code AUGMENTEDACTOR, all one word. So what's changed in the Pivo over the last couple of years? Well, the names of the Pivo has changed. This used to be called the Pivo Pod Silver because it has this silver band on it, and then there was a Pivo Pod Red. Now this is just called the Pivo Pod. Well, the red has changed into the Pivo Pod Light, and it now comes in a variety of six different colors. So when I did my first video, they just had pretty much one app called the Pivo app. And this app did all the auto tracking, it did all the fun creative modes, and everything was kind of in one app. But Pivo has a variety of apps now that each target one specific thing that the Pivo does. Now the main two you're gonna want to get that will do most everything is the Pivo Plus app, which is all about tracking. It has great tracking features, the smart capture, all of that stuff. 
And within the Pivo Plus app, you can also look at all the accessories and products that are available and order them on there. But again, on your first order, make sure you use Augmented Actor as your coupon code to get 10% off. The Pivo Play is where all those fun creative modes are. So if you want time lapse and many me and clone trail and all those fun little things, that's the app you want to make sure you have. But there's also Pivo Cast, which helps you pipe into those meetings on Teams or Zoom. You have Pivo Present, which you can use to cast a camera and the screen from your laptop at the same time for presentations. Pivo Live, which allows you to live stream to YouTube, Facebook Live, Instagram Live, Twitch, Twitter, all of those different streaming apps. There's the Pivo Tour app, which is great for real estate agents. It allows you to show off a home with panoramic shots and 360 images, things like that. And then there's the Pivo Studio app, which allows you to do 360 product rotation images, and you would use that with the Pivo 360 accessory. So Pivo was kind enough to send me some new accessories. Let's talk about what some of those are. We have this Pivo tripod. This tripod is aluminum. It's very, very lightweight, uh, and it's very easy to set up. Just a couple clicks of the legs, and you got a good tripod there. It's really easy to extend. Just flip it up, flick it back. Now that tripod is about six feet tall, which should work great for everybody. I'm six foot four, so if I want it to be level or a little bit higher, I need to use this smart mount. And this just basically screws off the Pivo like that, and you can put any kind of mount on whatsoever. But this product is very heavy duty, it's light, it works well with the Pivo, easy to adjust. You just put your phone in there and you can use this to tilt the angle of your phone. Tilt the camera up for a low angle shot or down for a high angle shot. You can also roll the camera to the left or right to get an interesting Dutch angle. Now, Pivo doesn't control the tilt of your phone with the app. It only controls the pan, the left or right movement. By the way, if you want to learn a little bit more about these terms, roll, tilt, and pan, I have a whole video on camera movements you can watch as well. And last but not least is the carrying case. This is a sturdy clamshell case, and there are compartments for the Pivo, for the mount, and for the tripod here with some Velcro straps. This carrying case makes it super easy to bring the Pivo with you wherever you go. Now there are different kinds of carrying cases that Pivo has available in different sizes, depending on what accessories you have. The Pivo and the accessories are portable, compact, and lightweight. Now the great thing about Pivo, and the reason why I still love this product, is that there is no complex setup. It is so fast. If you have the accessories, you can set up the smart mount, the Pivo, and a tripod Get it connected to your phone in about two minutes or less. And if you have a travel case, it's great to just take all of those items with you wherever you go. You can set up for anything. Also, you don't ever have to ask anybody else to help you run a camera or take a photo. The Pivo is your partner and you never have to worry about out of frame shots. The Pivo Pod, the mount, your phone, and the Pivo Pod app all work together to replace your camera person. Now let's talk about some of the questions I've had since my last video. First of all, horse tracking. In my first video, I didn't really give much credence to the horse tracking factor, but I've learned from a lot of people that this does really well with tracking horses. If you're trying to see whether a horse has an injury, you can, can use the Pivo to track them. And it probably works too in tournaments and races as well. Although if there's other horses on the screen, it might lose tracking with your horse. So I always recommend having a person manning the camera while you're doing horse tracking. Pivo has added a beta version of dog tracking. So that is now on the app. And I haven't tried that out because I don't have a dog or a horse, but I imagine it's great for dog shows and just playing frisbee with your dog in the backyard and capturing all those trick shots. Can you plug in a microphone or a charging cord into your phone with this mount? Now the mount on this is flush with the bottom. So if you put your phone like that, you can't plug anything into the bottom. You can flip your phone upside down, but the app doesn't flip upside down for some reason. And then you'd have this dongle hanging off your the top of your phone. But what I suggest is investing in the Pivo Smart Mount, because then you can raise it up higher off the Pivo and add a cord underneath. Pivo also offers a wireless microphone that you can use to Bluetooth to your phone. <laughs> They've thought of everything. 
can you hook up a different kind of camera to the Pivo Pod? And generally the answer has been no, it only works with phones because you have to use the Pivo app to record from or take the pictures from. That's what does all the, the heavy lifting behind the scenes. So if you don't have the phone there, it's not gonna know when to turn and it's not gonna be able to auto track you and it's not gonna be able to do any of those fun, quick, quick creative effects. So you can mount a GoPro camera on directly onto the Pivo mount and then use the remote control to turn it left and right, but it's not gonna do auto tracking. How do you do auto tracking with the GoPro? Well, there is a special mount called the Action Mount, which you can mount your GoPro on top of your phone. I don't have the mount with me, but uh, you would mount your, uh, your GoPro here and your phone down below, and then you can use the app on your phone and you use your GoPro and it will record on your phone and your GoPro at the same time. So that way you can get a nice wide angle fisheye view with your GoPro and then a standard shot with your phone. This is a channel for actors and for actors, we have to do self tape auditions. And although it's recommended your camera doesn't move during a self tape audition, you can use the Pivo to set up your shot and so you can use the front facing camera and that way you know you're in the frame. And then if you just stay still, your Pivo will stay still as well. But for those of you in musical theater, if you ever have to do a dance audition, this is going to save your life because you can set it up even in a limited space or somewhere outdoors and you can do a routine all the way around the camera if you want. You can dance front, back, and every which way, and the people will keep you in the shot. So for your actors out there, it is really a good investment. All right, enough about the actor stuff. So my verdict, do I still use the Pivo? I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't use it as much as I used to when I was shooting all my videos on a phone. Now I use DSLR cameras and they don't work with the Pivo. So I don't break it out as often as I want to, but I still have it and I still love it. And it's great for little insert shots and B-roll. So when I have my phone out there and I don't always have my camera with me, I can set it up and do a, a quick time-lapse and then include that in my video, or I can use it to take photos of myself and I am kind of always out there shooting with myself alone so this is really great for framing yourself up. The Pivo still has a bit of trouble with high contrast with backlighting so if you're in a studio setting and you have lights all around you especially with a light in the back you may have some issues with Pivo keeping you tracked. Make sure that you are brightly lit and make sure that your background and surroundings is brightly lit. And if you're shooting outside to shoot on sort of overcast days so that there's not harsh lighting and shadows everywhere, that way the people will track you a lot better. And if you're doing horse tracking or dog tracking or sports or anything like that, you wanna kind of keep it so that the light is shining on your subject. Even lighting is your best friend. Would I still recommend the Pivo Pod? Absolutely. It is great. It is the gold standard. It does what it says it does. It does it well. It has lots of different features you can use. And I still have this in my camera case for whenever I need it. This has been a long video. I'm so sorry. Thank you for taking the time to watch it and I'll catch you again soon.